Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all. Today's session we will be doing for scientific funding agencies and the schemes, especially from India. And this session will be useful for the students and the researchers, especially from the biological, biotech and life sciences background. So if you are planning to apply for certain fellowships or scholarships or travel grants, you can utilize these agencies. So let's discuss first that who and why we require these scientific support. So if you are a student or a researcher, obviously at the graduation level, sometime in a school level also, these days they are supporting science and technology during very initial uh, stages of the student journey. So either you are from school, graduation, master's, there are plenty of various fellowships and scholarships supported by Indian government and different scientific uh, bodies. So if you want to apply for CSI, UGC, NED, or PM fellowships, or INSPIRE fellowship, there are plenty of those things. So we will be discussing here these different agencies which provide all these fellowships and scholarships so that you can wisely utilize all those things for planning and for uh, enhancing your career journey. The other things in our scientific journey, whether you are a biologist or a non-biologist, many a time we have to present our work also. So either you want to go for national or international conferences and workshops, they will support you all those things. So I myself uh, has gained I think I have uh, got four international travel awards from USA, from Japan, from Europe, and from uh, from London also. I think I uh, Cambridge, I guess. So most of the support I got from uh, abroad also, like the RNA Society, ICI, from Japan has also supported me. But from India, I have got a uh, award from ICMR, and uh, JNU has also supported from DBT grant. So there are different ways you can utilize all those things to present your work in different platforms. If you're a faculty, you want to conduct the workshops and training, those supports are also provided by these funding agencies. Now, if you talk about research support in terms of fundings and grant. So if you are a women scientist, or if you are suppose working abroad, but you want to come back to India during that time, or in a very initial stages. Many students just aware of CSI, UGC net, but there are other support by DBT, DST at different level. So you can apply for those research grant also, and you can start your PhD journey. If you want to apply for masters, you can apply at that stage also. If you want to apply as a women scientist after break also, all different kind of support, early young scientists grants are also given here. So these kind of uh, support are very helpful at different stages in our scientific career and scientific journey. Along with that, if you want to become an entrepreneur or if you have some innovative ideas at different level, these things are also supported by these scientific agencies. If you are a faculty and if you are, are working in university, but your interest is in research. And so research support is also provided at faculty and university level also to do your research project nicely and, uh, and prosper in the scientific journey. Now, if we talk about the biological, especially the biological field, biotech, bioinformatics, biochemistry, microbiology, then these are few of the top agencies which provide all these kind of uh, funding and scholarship. So I've given all the URLs, you can visit these pages. So mostly they help in different stages to the student also, to the researchers also, and to the faculties also. So you can either go to DBT, CSI, UGC, DRDO. DRDO has a multiple institute in science and technology, also in the life sciences. DST is also very known and premier uh, funding agency, ICMR, INSA. So these things, actually these top uh, circled one, they are providing you in the biological sector 
along with that if you are non biologist and if you are coming from a technology background then also there are funding agencies related to them like our isro and the ministry of environment and forest ministry of new renewable energy so if you be are from biology or if we are from technology we have plenty of agencies those can support us at different level whether we are from school student whether we are at graduation level master level research level as a scholars or whether you are a faculty and scientist or if you are abroad but if you are planning to come back to india also so dbt is a well known uh, uh, agencies that support in the field of biotechnology and biotechnology itself is a very booming area so we we wanted to prosper as a biotechnology but we require science support also so all these fundings and scholarships are provided by department of biotechnology at various levels so we have different kind of biotechnology like it itself is of uh, four five types like industrial biotechnology medicinal related to animal plant human human environment so in every sector they are actually supporting okay and very known and prestigious ramalinga swami reentry fellowship is known because those people who are working abroad if they want to come back this is a very prestigious fellowship for those people and they also support the women scientists at different level if you have taken some break then also they support to come back uh, if you want to come back again in your career journey and if you are a student and if you want to apply for grf or uh, scholarships and if you want to apply for post doctoral fellowship then mk bhan fellowship is also present there after that as i said there are plenty of international fellowships also they support and these are few of them so you can visit this page and get the detail ideas from there and similarly as i said they also support the industrial and startup and entrepreneurship kind of work so for that they have industrial program also csir is also a very prestigious uh, body uh, scientific body of india they also uh, support research student and scientist at different level there are many institute which is run under csir csir also conduct csir grf uh, uh, lectureship fellowship uh, yearly so you can apply for that uh, grf and srf examination i myself have uh, got csir net twice while doing my masters and i was in the top 20% and i got spm call also so you can visit these things apply for grf srf they also support scientific community also and postdoc uh, provide fellowship for postdoc students also so you can visit this page look for all the awards related to scientists and faculties and schemes related to our grant support they also provide travel grant and as i said they conduct the very prestigious csir ugc net examinations if we talk about university of grant commission the ugc they also support various indian universities for their research not only in science but in non science areas also so here also you can visit and at student level teacher level faculty level they support all these things and they provide various fellowships related to post doc related to your post doctoral thing women scientist and other things and very prestigious kothari post doctoral fellowships also they provide so i uh, and this uh, net examination is jointly done by csir and bbc so you can visit these page they have all these details related to different fellowships and scholarship and you can get the detail ideas how who are eligible how you can apply and all drdo is also very prestigious organization but for biology background we have different separate uh, section and institute of life sciences from drdo annually they take 
interviews and examination, written examinations. So we have different uh, institute related to life sciences in DRDO. So uh, many people only think that they are only dealing with the defense and militaries and all those things, but the military people also has to work at different, uh, different, uh, different areas in India. Sometimes they have to work at Kar Kargil, Ladakh. So how they are going to survive, what kind of food they are, how, how, what kind of agriculture and food can survive and grow all those studies and how they can like sustain in those difficult, challenging uh, areas. All these things are done by actually DRDO scientists. DST is also very renowned uh, Indian uh, agency which provides scientific grants and fellowships. ICMAL has multiple institutes. They also provide the fellowships. They also support postdoctoral fellowships and they also provide international travel grant. I also got one lakh of rupees travel grant to present my work in USA from ICMR. So you can visit this page also. And at different level, you can, uh, uh, you can based on your interest, you can apply for various fellowships and scholarships and grant. The other very prestigious and renowned uh, agencies is Indian National Science Academy. They also support school students, researchers, and inspire award also at the school and faculty level they provide. Ministry of Human Research Development also provide various scholarship and fellowship, both at school level, at higher studies level. So you can visit this page also. And then AICTI, the All India Council for Technical Education, also has various national uh, fellowships and scholarships, and they support grants and also travel grants also. So you can visit this page also. And finally, Science and Engineering Research Board that is SERB, they also has various fellowships at different levels, like JC Bose National Fellowship, Ramajun is for uh, international scholars who want to return to India, so Women's Excellence Award, Postdoc Award, and so on. So you can visit this page and grab these opportunities timely also. So finally, I want to give you these key takeaways. Like there are additional funding agencies and scientific bodies also, but visiting these sites frequently is very important. So we can go and see the opportunity and timely we can apply by looking at the guideline and smartly explore all these opportunities. This will make your CV enhanced by increasing your skills and at right time, apply for the right opportunity. So I hope this was, very, uh, this was a helpful uh, session for you. If you find these videos useful for you, Kindly share these information along with your scientific students, friends, and do like this channel and subscribe also. Thank you so much.